What's up, guys? It is Kaylin, and I'm back. Um, I'm gonna start vlogging. I just wanna start vlogging. I should've been doing this a while ago, but I just really didn't think that nobody cared about like the daily life of me. And especially because I'm a relatively small, not even relatively small, I'm a small YouTuber. I was like, nobody's really gonna wanna watch this. But I've just been noticing like an uptick in people making vlogs and it's just like resonating with people just because people want to see regular people in their life i feel like celebrity culture is kind of dying to a degree and people don't really care about celebrity life because it's not relatable and also just because whenever i look at people that i looked up to not saying that you guys necessarily look up to me but at some point in time you know years down the line i want people to be able to say like how did he get here and be able to like actually see how i got here so I wanted to make vlogs and it's just gonna keep content because I don't keep content regularly. I just don't. Um, sometimes I have burnout and at least I can have a vlog, you know, showing you guys the burnout. So if nothing else, you guys will get a vlog that week. And even though I don't really necessarily do too, too much on a daily basis, especially because things are still closed here in LA, um, I still wanna give you guys content though. My desk is a mess. So that's why you can't really see it right now. But I have me some tea. Um, it is it's seven. Oh my god, my phone didn't charge all night. What? That's so annoying. Why is this not charging? That's so fucking bogus. Well, that's just lame. So I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do about this. I don't know. It's annoying that it just didn't charge all night. Literally didn't charge all night. So that's a whole nother problem. But yeah, today I have a couple of things to do. So I was like, this is the perfect day to start vlogging. Um, it is 7.47. Normally I try to get up. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've been trying to get up at like 6.30 and it has not been working. Today I got up a little bit earlier but I checked my bank account and I am one of those people that are unemployed and on unemployment. I mean, yes. And unemployment has just been kind of wonky and whenever it just like doesn't come and like I have to deal with like that, it just sends me down a spiral because I've been having to work with unemployment and trying to get money this entire time. And California unemployment just fucking sucks. Like it just does. Thankful to have the money, but it's just, it's rough out here, so. I just got stressed and I was like, all of the shit that I wanted to do requires me to have money. So I have to go to the bank today to figure that out. Um, I have to make a deposit. I have to go to the doctor's office today. I do have a doctor's appointment today. And then I'm gonna go to the gym and probably grocery shop today. I also have to film. So I have to film and edit today. So I have a decent amount of stuff to do today. I could go grocery shopping tomorrow, but I just wanna, I'm trying to save a lot of money. Um, so I've been meal prepping, and not even just to save money, but to save money because when I eat out, I'm eating the same things anyway, because there's not many really good food options that A, are open, um, and B, just that exist in Los Angeles anyway. To me, I don't feel like there's just a lot of food options. If you guys know of any food options in LA, please let me know because I've just yet to find consistently really good food options that are a relatively decent price point. Oh my God, I'm just gonna have to let this tea. I, I'm always the person that tries to have tea before you can, you should be drinking the tea. It's just piping hot right now. Um, I do have to fill out my planner this morning. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And then I'm gonna wash my face and everything and then go about my day. It's a new month, so getting better habits started is part of my routine right now. I'm trying to get better habits, get myself situated, and like just start really adulting. Like, I've had such a hard time adulting right now, and yeah, I'm trying to get over that little hump.
also, if you didn't know, I've been trying to give y'all body, so I'm going to the gym. Um, yeah, I'm a little late, <laughs> but I just had to get ready. So yeah, I finished planning my stuff for the day. So now execution is the next step. You wouldn't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're fake, but um, I've been trying to give y'all body. So as you can see, she's coming in. Y'all, y'all ain't gonna be ready. When I start opening up, y'all not gonna be ready for me. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. So I'm finally done with most of my errands today. Look at my war wounds, guys. I had to get like a pneumonia shot, and, like meningitis. I had to get a whole bunch. I had to get a whole bunch of vaccinations today. Um, I didn't get COVID vaccine. I didn't get a COVID vaccination, but I did get like a couple immunizations. Um, hopefully they don't make me fucking sick. Not gonna wood. I'm like I absolutely hate being sick. So yeah, I got like three fucking shots. I also got STD check today. I had a wellness checked up. Um, I advise everybody to be getting STD checked. I mean, I talk about this often. No, not often enough, but I definitely think even though I am currently not sexually active and I was in a monogamous relationship, I still believe that I should be getting tested just for my own knowledge. Like, I feel like knowing everything and being able to say for sure, like, if I do get another sexual partner, it's like, hey, this is my shit, you know? Being on top of your shit. That's a part of adulting. That's a part of adulting. And I feel like I, the like the biggest turnoff is like somebody telling me like they the last time they was checked was like seven months ago, eight months ago, and they're sexually active like now. I'm just like, dude, like get it together, you know? Uh, so, and being HIV positive, it's like also just a routine thing that I'm in the habit of doing anyway. I was in the habit of doing it prior to, that's how I found out I was HIV positive, but I just think that it's super important. Men, women, transgender, non-binary, whatever the fuck, go get tested. Just please, for the love of God, go get tested. So yeah, um, and I actually hate needles. So the fact that I'm telling everybody to go get tested and I, I actively get tested, I mean, like I will sit through those needles before anything else. I mean, I guess I have to sit through whatever needles, but you get the point. Go get tested, my guy. Ugh, my God, and this, he said this side wasn't gonna hurt and it hurt the most. He said this side was gonna hurt. And this this side hurt like when I first got it, but this side hurts the most. And maybe because it's two of them. But I'm like, ooh, okay. So now I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna go get me some food. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm kind of hungry. I'm not even kind of hungry, I'm hungry as hell. Um, And oh yeah, and it's pink. My bandage is pink, which I really wish they would have given me a blue one, but I don't hate it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. It's because I'm hungry. I'm probably just gonna get some chicken. If you know me, you know I love chicken. Fried chicken, down. I know it's a stereotype, but I fall right into that one. That's the one I definitely abide by. Um, I also need to go get some perm rods for this wig because I'm trying to remake um, somebody that you will see shortly. I, he has like this short kind of curly fro look going on. So I'm gonna get some perm rods and put it in a wig that I've used before, which I'll up, like show on the side here. Um, I had a wig and I made it into like a kind of an afro, but the curls were a lot looser than I wanted. So I'm gonna go a step down, two steps down probably into the curl rods and then just make them smaller curls and go from there and see how that looks. I might have to cut the hair a little bit more, which I really don't want to, because I wanna use this wig one more time before I'm just kind of over it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that um, so I can start prepping that. I need to film a video today as well before the sunlight goes down and I have to meal prep. So I'll probably meal prep later on tonight. I'll probably go like right before they close. Um, I'll probably go to Trader Joe's and then, yeah, that'll be, that'll be today's thing. So we still got a lot of shit to do, even though a lot of stuff was dragged and delayed. I mean, it's four o'clock right now and I definitely thought I was going to be done with all of this a lot earlier, but we're here. We got it done. So that's all that matters. I don't even know if I can drive like this. I hope I could. I hope I can. That's another thing. I have to do that like this week. I have to go because all of the 
don't know if I said this on there. If I did, I'll just delete it out. But, um, I have to go to Laguna fucking B because I have none of the, none of the Apple stores in LA County, not even just the city, LA County, none of them in LA County are open. So I have to go to Orange County, which is about a 45 minute drive away and hopefully be able to get me a replacement charger because I haven't had this charger for a year and you do have an Apple warranty for a year and I didn't do anything to this charger. I did not break this charger. This charger looks perfectly fine, has no damage. It literally just stopped out of nowhere and it's really frustrating because it was my fast charger and I my phone always dies regardless but with the fast charger at least I can put it on there for like 20 minutes and then it's charged the one that I have now it's like I can have it on there for an hour and it may be 50% charged maybe like that's that's me giving it 50% but who's to say live in LA or if you live by Ralph's or Kroger even their chicken is like fire like I used to be going to um what is it called I used to go because like the closest thing that like regularly good chicken was Popeyes. Oh, I could go to Gus's though. Gus's would be nice. Gus's is gonna be more expensive though. Um, but it does, it's a full meal. It's just it's like, I don't, the thing about LA is that they don't have like quality fried chicken. Like it's just not a thing here. Ooh, my head hurts. I wonder, oh my phone is still not charged. Um, I had to call back Kayla as well. And the sun is blinding me, so I'm probably gonna have to dip because this ain't working. Oh, oh, LOL. Or I could use the hat that I have and it'd be a lot better using the noggin. I don't know where a Ralph's is though. Oh, yes I do, I'm silly. Y'all, I had to go. I had to go. <laughs> I had to make a whole U-turn and then like the light of course turned green like right as I made the u-turn so and everybody's trying to, you were doing all of that just to end up right in front of me at a red light silly look at you people in la don't know how to drive and then like want to be such aggressive drivers and i'm just like settle down you're not going anywhere we're in traffic i need to shave again okay i had to take this damn hat off i ain't got no haircut but so i ate this damn chicken i ended up going to ralph's I just got some chicken. And yes, I am one of those people that eat. That's why you shouldn't eat in the car. But I am one of those people that eats in the car. I know I'm not littering. I'm just wipe, washing my hands off. I'm going to get some hand sanitizer too. All right. Now, we're going to go to Pico. My good old... Beauty supply store because I want to redo this look. Is it just me or is it like once, like if you haven't eaten all day and then like you eat once, it seems like I'm like immediately tired. I'm just like immediately tired afterwards. I don't know what, what kind of sorcery that is or what biological thing is going on. But the moment that I eat, if I haven't eaten in like all day, I literally start getting so tired I kind of want to get one of those uh, what are those those hot combs I want to get a hot comb as well I just don't like the fact that I gotta use it I mean I could get an electric one but it's like those are more expensive so I'm gonna just get the regular degular one uh, and then call it a day I gotta wash this hair and then once I wash the hair, then I gotta put the perm rods in there. I'm gonna let them sit in there for probably like two days. So I'll probably let them sit overnight tomorrow. And then Wednesday is probably when I will get them out. And then at that point in time, style the hair. But I'm gonna film all of the process so you guys can see it. Just because, I mean, if it's a flop, it's a flop. But just so you guys can see it. This is not what you do here. Like, you don't block intersections, guys. Assholes. Some people are really assholes in their life. And that's the crazy thing. Is that there's a lot of people who just really are assholes. Like, nothing more than just that. It's just your root. And it's like, I don't understand why people are like that in L.A. Well, especially when it comes to driving. Because it's just like... 
dude, we're all in the same traffic. Like, why not be a... De like, that would solve a lot of the traffic problems is if people were just decent Samaritans. Especially pedestrians. Pedestrians... Pedestrians in LA don't care. They don't. They just are like, I have the right of way, so I'm gonna go. It doesn't matter if it's probably gonna risk either me getting hit or your car getting totaled because you tried to cross in the middle of a street on a red light, knowing good and well red lights are hard to cross. Okay. Right now, I am really. Hi there. Right now, hello, L. This, this is what that girl thought she was replacing and it literally was just not it. Like she's such a, she was so silly. Oh no, I think she was thinking she was getting, I think she thought she was getting this in replace of this. I do kind of need some more of that, but not right now. I don't need any more right now. Um, Bow Wow got his own brushes. That's crazy. Um, Permod. I think the last time I got these and I, I think I want to go two steps down. And these both say jumbo, but these look slightly smaller than that. But I know for a fact these are smaller. But I think I even want to go as small as these. I think I want to go as small as these. Because it's like, I feel like these would just be like too small. This would just take forever. This would just, A, just take forever for me to put into the hair. But I think it, it probably, I probably should just get those. I think I'm going to do smaller because smaller was what I liked more. And his hair is kind of curly. But I feel like it, it'll get the gist. I think so. Maybe if I buy like a mix of them. I'll buy like a mix of both. These are smaller for sure. And I had two packs of the other ones, but I think I'm just gonna get three packs of each and hope that's it. And if not, I can just use the other ones as well, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Okay, we need these. And then I also need, I also need a, oh, Good. I also need a hot comb. Oh, okay. I need a hot comb. Yeah. How come it's inside? Do you need the electric or just regular one? The regular one is fine. Regular. Yeah, so I clearly didn't get to meal prep. Um, time just kind of got away from me. Um, the store's closed. Trader Joe's closed. So I gotta go tomorrow. Um, I also... I did film the video, though. I just filmed that. I will edit that tonight as well because I'm about to go get me some food from Ralph's. Again, I'm probably just going to make something super quick. Um, yeah, because, I mean, that's really all I need is something really quick. Oh, I actually can make something here. I could actually make something here. Um, I just got to defrost something. I don't know if I like doing that. Dang. Uh, I should do it regardless. Yeah. Um, I'll go to Ralph's get something and then I'm gonna come back here and try to edit for the next two hours for the next hour at least honestly I might end up having to go do that in the morning because I'm trying to get like a bedtime and I'm trying to like cut off stuff like by 11 so then I could just wake up at like 6 a.m. in the morning and then just start in the morning bright and early bust it out in like four hours it still can be up by noon that seems like a more reliable option just so I can get it over with. It's up by noon and then I can go work out at like one or two tomorrow. That seems better. That seems like a better option. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cook tonight. Maybe on like a little nice drive, you know, do that. I also need to go get cash out. I need to do some things. And then tomorrow I also need to do Uber. After I upload, I do need to do Uber because I need to get some cash. So yeah, um, oh, this does look really nice though, especially if I was just doing this for a vlog. Dang, this is gonna be the nicer like quality shit. It's because I just got through filming, so all the shit is just set up already. Um, of course, it's literally like, my roommate's literally. It's like, the moment I start talking, like, they get loud. Um, 
So yeah, we'll just do this another place. But yeah, that's probably it for tonight. That's all I'm really gonna do for tonight. So I'm not really gonna probably vlog anymore. So I'll probably see you guys in the morning. Oh, hey guys, it's the next day. Um, I just, I forgot, no, I forgot. I just didn't even see that I had an audition until super late in last minute. And then it completely just left my mind. I don't know how. So I just rushed and did that, not rushed, but I just had to do that this morning. Uh, which took a decent amount of time. And then now I'm trying to get this video up so I can have it up today in like an hour and a half, which normally takes me a little bit longer to do videos, but we're gonna try to get this video done in an hour and a half. I think it should be, it's only a 30 minute video. I think in an hour and a half, I should be able to get it. And I was rambling a lot, so there's a lot I'm gonna cut out anyway. So yeah, but you'll see this today, um, which is Tuesday. So yeah, I'll have this up. At least by one. And then I'm going to go to the gymnasium and land. My arm still hurts though, guys. Literally, my arm, where they gave me the shot, they still hurt. And they didn't say that it was going to be this painful. So I want to go to the gym and I wanted to do back. But if my arm is hurting, I might just do legs. If I'm like, if it's like not able to be moving like I want to be. Which, I mean, I could suffer through it, but it's just like, who wants to do that? So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Go to the gym. And then I want to go to the Apple store just so I can get this new charger because I'm tired of my phone being dead. And other than that, though, uh, oh, I still have to do that wig. Get that wig done so I can have that video later on. And then I want to film. I'll film tomorrow. But I'm going to work a little bit as well. After I do that, after I do the gym... I'm gonna sell my old MacBook because I just need it, like I said, extra cash. So those are the things that are on the docket today. I need to write in my planner so I don't forget all the things. Yeah, but I'm gonna edit this video and then come back because this is like super important. So gotta get this done and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so I'm finally done. The video isn't uploaded yet. It should be like relatively close to being done. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. It was still processing, so I have to like do like one or two more steps. I'm just gonna do public. Published, okay. She was still posted. I wanted it to be done at 12, but she was still posted at the time, so I'm not stressed. She was still posted at like the 12 o'clock hour, so I'm not, I'm not mad. You know what I mean? I want to, I definitely could have gotten this up at noon. I was just procrastinating. Um, I was definitely procrastinating. Um, and I'm hungry. I need to stop doing this where I just don't eat. Um, and I also need to, I definitely am gonna meal prep today because that's why my eating habits have been kind of off because I don't have any food here. So I need to get, so I need to get my plates from my friend Anthony, who I'm gonna be working out with today. My friend Anthony is a trainer, so I'm gonna be working out with him today, just because I wanna lift a little heavier today, and so I want somebody to help me spot. But I also left some of my containers at his house, so I need to go get those. I still need to go to, I'm probably not gonna go to the Apple Store today just because it's so out the way, and I really need to just go meal prep today. So I think that's what I'll do today, is just meal prep, just so I can have food, because I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of not having food. So, yeah, let's just get that out the way. Get things done. Okay, bitch. I didn't even get to record before because I was trying to get some food because, of course, I didn't eat before I went to the gym. But yeah, went there. Anthony trained. The body Bitch. architect. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm real tired. I don't know what it is, but the gym be wiping me out, bitch. That's a good lie. The gym be wiping me out. I think I'm gonna, I still gotta go home. I still gotta grocery shop. That's what I said I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to take a break though. I'm gonna take like a nap or something. I got to, cause. Ooh. Ooh. Do y'all be taking naps? Because I definitely am a napper. I need a nap. 100%. Okay.
Okay, guys, I just woke up. It's like 10. Shit. I just woke up. It's currently raining right now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Which doesn't always happen in LA, but when it does, you definitely feel it. Um, I was supposed to go to the Apple Store today. I don't even know how I'm going to go because it's kind of far, which is annoying. Um, but I'm going to sell my MacBook today. I am putting it in the universe that I'm going to sell this shit today because I'm tired of having it and I do need extra money. So I also need to buy my ticket back home because I'm going back home for my best friend's birthday. Um, ugh, I look a mess. I just feel like I look a mess. I just haven't washed my face. Um, but I'm eating right now and yeah. So we're gonna try to see what today is. Today might be a flop, but I might just like film some TikToks because I haven't filmed any of those this week. I do get my hair cut today. So y'all will go with me to get my hair cut at the very least. Um, again, my friend and trainer, Anthony, will be over. So, cause he's at the gym right now. I wasn't, it's raining. And if there's any inclement weather child, I am not going. So, and I did two days and my goal is normally four days a week. So I still have the rest of the week to do the other two days. And yeah, today is Wednesday. I uploaded yesterday. I had to upload on Friday. So I can plan out what I'm gonna do for Friday's video. And yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. So it'll be a very chill day today. I got my tea, even though I don't have my dog here and I do need a dog out here. I still have a cup that says I love my dog. Y'all, so I literally said today was gonna be a wash because it was raining and I was like, ugh, I don't know, you know, whatever. Why did my barber just cancel? Because she ain't got no power. The power went out. Uh, so not getting a haircut today probably. So I'm gonna look like this, but I, I wanna still get out. I just posted a reel so I feel somewhat productive. I'm not working out today again, like I said. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna figure out something to do. I low key almost died trying to get here because I was trying to cross the street. And literally as I started crossing, there was cars coming. But I'm getting beignets. It's this place called the beignet box. Apparently Christina Milian owns this. I was gagged first of all, because I thought Christina Milian was black. So I thought this was a black owned business. But it's very person of color, love that. They always got everybody and anybody working here. They don't look like they discriminate from nobody. And they're always super fucking nice. And I love customer service. One thing, one way to get me is customer service. You got good customer service, I'm sold. I drive, oh, this is fogging up my glasses. I drive very far to get these beignets. It's actually quite crazy because this is nowhere near me. But I've been here since the jump. The moment I found out about them, I was like, period. I'm gonna go get me some. I got them here and I'm like obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. And I knew that I would like them, but my God, they're so fucking good. They're so good. Y'all, do y'all see this? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm so, I am so happy. My God. Good morning. Uh, I clearly messed up and fucking happy. It is currently, I don't know if you guys can even see that over there. 10 28 it looks like 58 but it's 10 28 it's 10 30 and i just woke up and took a shower i clearly took a nap last night i'm not even i'm supposed to have been up long before this but i don't know i just was tired i don't know what happened um that means i didn't get to work because uber was trifling like i said so i gotta go there this morning so i can figure out why my account is on hold i don't know what they're doing outside so if you hear like a random clack like that's that, that's not me. Let me actually turn this down. I'm gonna just close my window right now because it's kind of cold anyway. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't do the Uber thing last night. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm, I'm gonna at least go up there today and then I'm gonna go to the gym because my gym has a location over there. So I'm gonna go over there, work out, and then I am going to, I'm gonna come back home. I'm gonna film because I have to have a video ready for tomorrow. I was gonna do that wig video, but I'm just not gonna have time to do it. And I kept forgetting to put the curl rods in there. So I'm gonna do that this weekend because I have, I try to make sure I don't have anything planned for the weekend. 
Um, I'm trying to get this schedule down to where I work all week and then on the weekends I don't have to work and tomorrow I have to film anyway and edit and also edit this vlog because I want this up by Sunday. So yeah, I gotta do a couple of things. So I'm gonna film today and then I'm going to work after that. And then after that, I have to meal prep. But meal prepping is a lot easier because I actually kind of like cooking. I have some wine here so I can wind down, cook, eat, and then call it a day. So right now, I'm about to do my skincare routine, eat some food, and then head straight to the Uber place, do that. That should not take long. Then I am going to, like I said, work, then work out. Oh my goodness, y'all. Do y'all see this pimple? I didn't notice it before. That's annoying. So this is proof. So if anybody's always like, oh my God, Kaylin, your skin is always so good. Look at this. Uh, it'll probably be here for a couple of days. I probably just need to do a deep exfoliation, which I'll do tonight. I'm writing my planner right now. I looked and saw how much of a chop yesterday was. All the things I said I was going to do, didn't really do. But today, new day, new dawn, new day, a new life. Um, And also, the reason why I keep a planner is not, I used to be one of those people that would see my planner and be like, oh my God, like I clearly effed up like I didn't do something right like ugh, and I see it as like a draining thing I'm trying to take it as more like a more of an accountability thing and not like a oh you didn't do things it's like celebrating the things I did do and like celebrating the small wins because like there are some things that I did get to do yesterday but I didn't get all of the things I did and if I can get like they on my planner it has like three to five things I have this thing called a panda planner I want to show you guys my desk but it looks kind of a mess right now but as you guys can see, that was yesterday. And like, they have five little things that you can do and you can map out your day right here. And then you have all of your little tasks that you have to do as well. I really love the grateful things, like things that I'm grateful for, things I'm excited for, positive affirmations. Um, and it just really resets my day. But also at the end of the day, it says you can do your wins and how you'll improve. And so that's also a part that I need to be doing more. It's just because celebrating those little wins if i can get three wins out of the five thing out of all of these things if i can get at least three wins i had a good day so apparently i can't take my bag into this location i forgot that this location doesn't allow you to have your bag in there my location only does so i'm just gonna give you my gym fit you guys can't even really see it shit let's see ah now you still can't see it though. I don't want to get hit. This is me. Hello. What's up? Um, yeah. You guys can't really see shit on this at all. I don't know why. Oh, because I need to be more so directly in the light. That's why. So I don't know how I'm going to do this, y'all. I'm really trying to give y'all some content and the goddamn environment isn't helping. Oh, I, th I thought that guy was saying something to me. He got awkward. Let's try this. One more time. This dog is so far away. Let me move. I'm screaming. This dog is so far away, yet he is so bothered. It's almost been like a year at this point in time that I've been like so consistent with the gym. And in college, like I was always in the gym, but especially like once midterms happened or finals were starting, like that's when I would be a lot less consistent. Um, over the summer, like we didn't have access to the gym, so I wouldn't be at the gym over the summer. So it was just like every three to six months, like I would be consistent um, for that, that stint, like three to six months. And then like I would stop. Um, then when I graduated, I had a job that had me sitting a lot, and so even though I was going to the gym, I was sitting all day um, rather than being super active when I worked at Apple. So, yeah, when I moved out here, I got back into retail at Apple, and so like I was more consistent um, as far as like being active, but I wasn't going to the gym as often. But then I like, but then like this last year, I was like I had an accountability partner. I like always had someone that I was going to the gym with and I just like really I don't know I just 
it started becoming more of a self-care thing than anything. Like, not even, like, I'm trying to just go to the gym. Like, of course, some days I'm like, fuck, I gotta go to the gym. But for the most part, it's, like, it's, like, self-care. So I just feel good. I love the way, like, my body looks. Like, I'm not telling anybody that you have to go to the gym. I'm not telling somebody that you have to do, you have to look like this in order to feel good. However... Like, I started doing it because of that, and I liked the improvements that I saw within my body and the changes that I saw in my body. So that's what kept motivating me to keep going. Um, but even if someone just wants, like, an, a more active lifestyle, like, it literally, throughout the quarantine, like, that was the one fucking thing that I could say I did that was an activity. Like, I literally could only say I went to the gym that day because it was really the only thing that was open. But I felt great, and I felt like I really was active that day, and I felt like I got something done. So, like I said, it, that was my reasoning for doing it um, over this past year, and so I'm just really proud of myself, you know? Like I said, this is not to tell anybody that you got to do this in order to, to be a good person, but that's just, this is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so I just got done with the gym, and... Now I need to go to the Uber place because I still didn't get the situation fixed necessarily. I went to the place, like, I went to one place. They were like, oh, you basically got to fix it because I thought there was, like, maybe something wrong with the car or something. So now I have to go, like, to the actual official Uber place because calling them was a dud. So, yeah. Got to run that around. But it's, it's relatively close to the location that I'm at. So it's relatively close to the location that I'm at, which isn't that bad you know i should have gotten me a protein shake but i didn't it's okay it's okay it's a fine it's fine i'm hungry though so apparently i can't do this uber situation which you know what i'm not even gonna stress about it at this location i'm not gonna stress i'm just gonna go get me some food because they're supposed to piss me off here at this location and i'm not gonna let them i'm not gonna let them piss me off nobody's gonna ruin my day i just need to go to the, i made a location at the next location you know i was gonna be mad because they're trying to tell me that I needed to make an appointment even though I've been dealing with this since freaking Monday. But, um, because this problem was supposed to be fixed on Monday, but it was not. So, now I have to travel 50 miles to the nearest location because no other location has a freaking appointment. So, yeah. But I'm gonna just give me some food because you know what, I'm not gonna let them ruin my day. I'm not gonna let them ruin my day. I'm not gonna let them ruin my day. I'm not. Bro, it says it's gonna take me an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Oh, and I have to drive all the way back. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so, so, so annoying. Then I still have to go back and film. They're trying me. It's trying me. I mean, the worst case is that I filmed this song association in the morning, like if I can, because my roommates just be loud and I be having to tell them every single day to shut up. And honestly, at this point in time, like I'm kind of over it. So I'm just, you know, all these problems will be solved once YouTube is my full-time job and I can just move out, have my own apartment and not have to deal with this and just film whatever I want to and not have to deal with people in my house all the time. I'm just mad. Honestly, I'm just mad. I'm just getting upset because I have to drive so far, I'm hungry, and my roommate's just gonna suck, but it's whatever, it's whatever, it's literally whatever. May you know what, maybe maybe I'll get home and I can still film and I can just get this out of the way and everything will be fine. I at least went to the gym today. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I literally have to talk myself down because I'll get so upset. I am upset, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Finally done meal prepping, finally done shower. And I'm gonna take my ass to bed because it, I'm tired. You can probably hear my roommates because they're just always that loud, but yeah. And I know it probably feels bright in here. Just, I don't know if the settings on my camera are weird, but I'm sorry. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'm going to 
film. I'm going to clean up my room and I'm going to do like a TikTok to that. I get my hair cut in the morning and I'm going to film. So busy day tomorrow. I have to film, edit, and upload tomorrow by noon. So that'll be fine. Fine, fine, fine. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> I don't know why. But, you know, like I said, when I get my own space, I'll have ample amount of time to film. I can only film during certain hours because I just don't feel like having to deal with people and talking over, like, random noise. Like, even right now, I know you guys can probably hear, like, a little bit of it. It's just not as quiet as I would want it to be. So that's just a personal thing. I try to work my way around it, but today I just, I couldn't do it. it just, I couldn't do it. And so we'll wait till tomorrow. Um, in the morning, they're usually asleep. So when they're asleep, they're fine. Chamomile tea, if you ever need to go to sleep, chamomile tea, chamomile peppermint will fuck you up. That'll fuck you up. Add a little bit of honey, add a drop of vanilla. Don't tell nobody, don't tell nobody. This is me and you, our secret right here. Add a drop of vanilla. My God, a great time, grand old time. You'll be in the slumber, I promise you. And I got this wine, so I'm gonna be knocked, I'm gonna be knocked. Of course I woke up late, so now I have to rush to get a haircut. So I'll just see y'all when I get a haircut and then I'm gonna go to the gym. You know, I gotta get one productive thing in today. I'm gonna come back to the house, write in my planner, go to the gym, uh, and then yeah. Then I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. Um, then I have to come back here and film and edit and upload. So, yeah, we're rushing, rushing. But we're going to take our time and be intentional because we don't want to make mistakes. But still with haste. I'm just trying to go to the gym. That's all I want to do. Just want to go to the gym. Oh my God, this is my first laptop ever and I'm getting rid of it. I'm actually kind of sad. I'm so sorry, the lighting looks really, really ugly right now. I'm so sorry. I'll fix it at some point in time. But yeah, so, so sad because this is this was my first MacBook ever. So I'm really kind of sad. I think that's why I haven't wanted to give it up. It's because it's like, it's just my baby. Yeah. And I worked so hard to get her. So <laughs> what a different time. But she must go. She's done her due diligence and she must go to someone else, a better home, a better life. All right, well, I have finished pretty much everything I can finish. Today is the end of the day. It's Friday, I'm clocking out. I've done, I've had a great week. Honestly, this week comparatively to like a lot of weeks, I've been super productive. I'm super happy with what I've done and I will be finishing most of this stuff. I didn't get a video today, which kind of sucks, but that's just because like time was not of the essence. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that the video won't come. That means that the video will probably be tomorrow. I'm gonna try it again and try to film early in the morning. Um, I got the computer back um, and, and I got the computer erased and everything. So I don't have to worry about that. I can just film in the morning, edit one of the videos, finish the vlog tomorrow as well and Uber a little bit just to make like I said, some extra cash because I still haven't been able to do that. So yeah, but tomorrow, I don't really, I'm not going to the gym. I'm going to the gym on Sunday, but Sunday is just gym and cleaning and uploading this video, this one right here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me. I know this video is probably super long, but I want to give you guys more of an insight into my life and also just have more content because I'm a men's lifestyle, well, I'm a men's lifestyle channel, but I ain't been showing y'all my lifestyle. Uh, and also just to give y'all just a little bit more insight into my life, I mean, cause on my men's lifestyle channel and I ain't showing you shit about my lifestyle. So <laughs> I wanted to give you guys just, ooh, just a little bit more insight into that. And yeah, if you guys like vlogs and me vlogging more, I started out with vlogs, so I, I'd really like doing them. But if you guys really like them, I would definitely keep doing them. I definitely want to keep weekly vlogs going um, because this is kind of fun just to have like a buddy around. So yeah, um, but I love you guys. Stay cute, stay classy, and you stay kind. And I will see you next week. TGYL. Peace.